Hi, my name is Chris Donovan. I am a uh, documentary photographer currently based in New Brunswick. And today I'm gonna be taking you on a tour of my work in the exhibition of the New Generation Photography Award. Uh, so the work we see here is from uh, an ongoing project called The Cloud Factory uh, that I've been working on for close to a decade. And um, the title comes from when I was a child uh, growing up in St. John, New Brunswick, which is a heavily industrialized city. I was driving over the Harbor Bridge with my father and I looked up at the smokestacks of the pulp mill. And I remember asking him if it made all of the world's clouds. And he told me, no, they make money. And that was like, an ex it's an experience that a lot of kids um, have uh, who grow up in not only in St. John, but in heavily industrialized areas where it feels like it's your whole world. And it's natural to think that, you know, this is where the clouds come from. Um, if you haven't gone elsewhere and you're sort of wrapped up in it. And it made me think about how identity is formed in these industrialized places. Um, so about five years ago, I started photographing a family um, the Jackart Crandall family you see here. This is Lisa and Trey um, who live next to the refinery. And I photographed a few families, but these guys have been photographing for a while since Trey was like really small. And um, they live pretty well adjacent to the refinery and they had uh, a lot of adverse health issues uh, as a result. There was constantly soot on their houses. You could wipe the house and you'd see black soot on your hands. Uh, fallout from the refinery and Lisa's father died quite young um, from a rare lung condition and several of her uh, pets died of rare cancers and pets all throughout the neighborhood were dying of cancer um, and her, her dogs had this is one of her dogs here had a terrible skin condition where he would basically claw all this fur off and um, and bite at his fur um, and so they live, like you can see here, this is walking, walking one of their dogs next to the butane pipelines. And these pipelines leaked in 2018. And most of this neighborhood was evacuated and then purchased by the oil company and demolished. And um, Lisa's house was a little bit further away, about a hundred yards further from the houses that were demolished, so it wasn't purchased. Um, and then a year later, there was a large explosion that rocked their house. And so they were basically living in fear of disaster every day for years. Luckily, they've since been able to move, so that was a happy story. But there's a lot of people who are still in that situation where they're, um, you know, fearing for their lives every day, they're just trying to live normal lives, um, you know, as a result of corporate greed and trying to make money despite you know, people, people's lives, um, you know, that, that's in conflict with people trying to live their lives, I would say. So when working on putting together um, the images for this exhibition, it was difficult to narrow it down to six because the final product, if there is a final product, will be a book, um, which will have likely 60, 70 images that tell a narrative uh, through those images and the way that they interact with one another. Uh, this is one example. These images are meant to be a diptych um, and in the book they'll likely be on uh, opposite pages. And uh, you know this this guy is vaping at, at a skate park in St. John. It makes me think about the way that I sometimes feel in the city where you know your head's in the clouds and you're, sur you're surrounded by particulate matter from the factories. No matter where you are in St. John you can see a smokestack from from pretty much anywhere, whether it's the refinery or the pulp mill. And uh, I wanted to try to represent that this, you know, these particulate clouds aren't just, aren't just, you know, clouds in the sense that they're, they're particulate, they're actual physical things floating in the air that are surrounding us and that we're breathing in and that become part of us as they settle in our lungs. And I wanted to make people think about that in a more literal way.